This wall needed something. It was so boring and the fish tank always looked dirty against the white wall. What about a mural up there? What if it looked something like this? It was still sort of fuzzy in my mind. I needed some photos to help me draw it, so I asked a drama class to pantomime for me. I used the girl reading as a model for the painting. I also liked the pointing figure, but I made it a boy in the mural. I liked the school in the background, and I used that idea, too. The reflections are nice, but I didn't think I could put them in the mural. Okay, now I have to prepare to paint. I chose seven different colors and white and black acrylic, and I needed a wall paint for the color behind the tank. I got up on a scaffold, and I put the grid on the wall. I used a pencil and a level to make sure everything was straight. I drew on this photo to show sort of what it looked like when I was done with the grid. Here is a painted drawing of the idea. And here is a working painting with some guidelines showing. Each box has a number along the right side and a letter across the top to help me find it on the wall grid. These boxes are about three quarter inch square. On the wall they will be one foot square and the drawing will stay in proportion. A close-up of the working drawing with the grid lines put in. You can see the grid in the other close-up pictures too. One day I got up on the scaffold and put in the basic lines, first with a pencil and then with red paint. I used red paint so I could see the drawing from a distance and I wanted to have a warm tone around the figures. In the finished mural, the little red showing will liven up the painting and give some definition to the edges where the colors meet. I added more drawing in red paint later. You can see the grid lines up close, too. If you look closely, you can see the mistakes I made with the pencil drawing of the figure and the grid lines. But I can paint over that and it won't show in the end. I started at the top with the sky. I was afraid I had not mixed enough blue paint, so I left some white clouds. But I like it with clouds. Maybe not quite so many, though. Now it really looked different because I painted the wall behind the fish. Notice the little guys playing soccer up on the right? With white paint, I painted over those soccer players. Painting the wall meant blue meant I had to protect the fish tank with a big piece of plastic, and I used a long-handled roller to get behind the the soccer players were in the wrong box on the grid and they had to be moved over. I put in the trees and the school buildings and the colors will change a bit as the mural progresses. The school building is actually not this long but it needed to fill the space so I made up an extra 20 feet. The arch at the top will have lettering. I'm really bad at lettering so I will buy some stick-on wall letters and put them up later and I can have students paint colored fish and insects on contact paper and stick those on the blue wall behind the tank. Here's what it looks like when I'm working. I have several different colors of green showing sun on grass, a hill, leaves, and shady areas. I love putting the little spots of blue sky in the leafy trees. The color on the building needed to be lightened up. And the girls will get better skin and hair color. the level to fix the post on the left. I continued work on the small drawing as I went along. Next, more color and the picture really takes shape. I move the scaffold each evening and in the morning I take a picture and plan what to work on next. Day 11, nearly finished. After seeing it from here, I think I still need to change a few things. I've been taking a lot of pictures and making notes every day. The funny pencil drawing on the left is of Steve Broderick, who has been delivering the mail at Holland Hall for over 30 years. Can you see Mr. Broderick in the big painting? Maybe he's too tiny to see here. The wall is almost done. 
He is so small, you would have trouble finding him, unless I took a detail photo from a foot away. Here it is. These two could be teachers watching kids play. The girlfriends have more detailed faces now, and the mural is almost done. This reading girl needs more detail, too. The book has new pages now, and there is some water in the foreground. Can you guess what book she is reading? 2010 is the 50th anniversary of the publishing of To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. Which student are you? The reader, or the dreamer, or maybe the explorer with his finger in the water? Study the finished painting. Have I forgotten anything? Well, the lettering for the arch has arrived. It will take a few more hours to put it up. First, I needed to play around with the placement and the colors. Oh, and one more thing. 